Greetings. Welcome back to another episode. We are in Lo not Lorath, <laughs> in Cat Part 2, and we are looking for Lorath. Lorath is all the way over here and uh, talking. Snoring, more like. Well, he's still breathing. He is lucky to be. Hmm. Rise and shine. What happened here? That old man there. He claims to be Horadrim, but he drinks like an ox. He came to town days ago, looking for a servant of the demon Lilith. A pale man. It seems he didn't like what he found. Mm, I see. I will take it from here. Who are you? He and I met in the Fractured Peaks. I saw his pale man in a vision, if you can believe it. Enough. He's yours. Just keep away from the bottle, both of you. Come on. He's out cold. Just give me a nice thing to drink here. It's cold in the night. Hells, what do you want? You told me to meet you here, Lorath. Remember? Of course I remember. I'm just surprised you're not dead. Hand me that bottle. What happened to you? I was attacked, obviously, by vast quantities of alcohol, <laughs> wielded by my own treacherous hand. <sighs> There may also have been a brawl with the goats over this patch of mud. But I like to think I triumphed. Lorath, who is the Pale Man? The Pale Man is... or was... Horadrim. Horadrim? Then you must know him. I thought I did, once. His name is Elias. He was my apprentice. He was the one who brought Lilith to Sanctuary. It's possible that I did not take the news very well. What must we do then? Find him. Figure out what he's done. And then kill him. Listen. There's a woman here someplace. She has some messages we'll need. And I'm of no use to anyone right now. Could you find her? Enough time has been wasted. Oh, check around the inn. Ask if she's heard from the Orbe Monastery. All right. What is that in Orbe Monastery? Good. Yup, 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 yup. There you are. Laura sent me. Have you heard from the Orbe Monastery? <sighs> no. No word from Orbe. Same as yesterday and the day before. But I have something else. Rumor has it a pale man passed through the Abaru Canyon some time ago. Fearsome fellow, dressed in black. After Laura's performance last night, I wager he'll want to know. Ah, oh, good. Now we know more. So we're just doing some errands right now until he sobers up. Too bad, though. We're back in 10 seconds. Hmm. I bore witness to Lilith's evil in Skosklen. Oh, Donan. The poor fool never could have guessed that Lilith would come for Astaroth, let alone offer his boy to it. But what does she buy in return? Astaroth hails from the realm of hatred, same as she. Perhaps she left something at home. That's interesting. The realm. So the, the, the demons that are connected to some like emotion, whatever, they each have their individual realm. So there's not just one hell, but like multiples. 
But aren't there also multiple heavens as well? What about sanctuaries? <laughs> I have news from the Factored Peaks. Cenarius' stupidity never ceases to amaze. Had he not murdered Rathma, Lilith might have been stopped. But now, now she has the key to hell. We can assume she'll be looking for a door. Well, or she just makes one. Tegrin had no messages, but... Strange. I wrote to the Orbay Monastery the day I arrived. The abbot should have replied by now. Oh. Tekran spoke of a rumor. A pale man seen near the canyons. The canyons? Why didn't you say so? We go at once. Ugh. But we can't leave Orbe unchecked. Sod it. I'm off to the canyons. You can meet me there or go to the monastery. You seem reliable thus far. Do not prove me wrong. Okay, if the pale man was in the canyons, either he's still there or he went. Which means uh, our best bet is... I don't know if this is a decision quest or not. But anyway, what did you want with the Orbe Monastery? The scholars of Orbe devote their lives to the study of forbidden knowledge. To serve the light, we must know the darkness. Or some other silly platitude. I wrote to the abbot seeking insights on Lilith. His silence is most unusual. The man never misses a chance to speak. Hmm. Why would Elias summon Lilith? Is he insane, you mean? Elias was an exceptional mage. He would plunge through fire and shite in search of the truth, and very often found it. Whatever truth he has found in Lilith, only he can say the why of it. All right, now where are they? When, where's the monastery? Meet Loreth in the canyon? Nope. And... Uh, what's this? The Abbey Monastery. How do we get there quickest? Cat Bardu, further south. All right. What about the other one? Uh, also, Cat Bardu, further east. Uh, all righty. It's another errand boy thing, isn't it? The way is actually much longer than expected. And we're getting there. Okay, that's the bridge. Almost there. Wait a minute. Uh, let me track that. There we have Orbe. Enter the halls and search for the abbot. Okay. Hello? Is anybody here? Free inside. No one to hinder them. Wait a minute, I was here before, right? And I was like... Strangely confused. Okay, this is all about the light. And there we have the halls. Alright. Let's go through them. Is anyone here? I don't think they hear you if you are at the entrance. Maybe we have to go a bit... Deeper. What about the others? Do as I say. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. Interesting. Kind of looks like an outside area, but underground. Fascinating. Mechanically sealed door. Well. Let's uh, mechanically unseal it. Oh. Okay. Another one that's closed off. Good. So we need to open doors now. I would say once we get in there, they are um, going to get killed. Oh, no, wait. It's probably a bloodbath and they are already getting killed. 
Let's see. As it, see this? There's a smaller box right next to the larger box. A lot of boxes. All right. Now let's get into the center area. Maybe we can find something good. Hmm. All right. What's here? Don't see anything. Oh, wait. Okay. Place the Crusader skull on the pedestal. Sure. But does that open all of the... Yeah, wait a minute. It could open all of the... Pathways. Yes. Come on. And there. Yeah, 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 yeah. No need to worry. Oh. I was so excited when you walked into the sacristy that day. Finally, my turn to enter the archive and explore the knowledge of darkness. Now, I'd give anything to forget what I've learned. We're under attack! Those ghosts do take a little bit of a beating before they die. Maybe not the smaller ones, but the larger one. Come on. There you go. Hmm. There's no one here. Now, where do all of these screams come from? Okay. No. Most of them are somewhat dead. Huh. So, not a oh. Of not a man. A devil. A monk with a name. Yeah, look at that. So this must be where the pale man was. Okay, do we go to the left or... Let's just go this way. Nothing here. Hmm. Why just slaughter all of those people? Makes no sense. Commissioned during a time of troubles, the Orbe Archive once served to codify heresies for the Inquisition. Since then, the Archive has expanded to the study of all evils. Restricted to... Damn you, Abbot! Why did you let him in?! Oh. Yeah, and how do we reply that again? Too bad. Critics rightly fear the dangers of our scholars, but ignorance of evil offers little protection from it. Our insights have proven invaluable. Paladins, paladins, and angels alike in the fight against the darkness. <laughs> I mean the knowledge of people getting placed into some kind of armor. Iron Maiden thing. Hmm. I mean the enemies were still kind of cool, but the fact that there's a dude in there kind of reminds me of a cyborg. Or well, no, not cyborg, but cybot. Warhammer. Same thing. Huh. Well, hello there. Are you wounded? Where's the abbot? The abbot. Open the door. And the pale devil smiled. He took the forbidden knowledge. 
It's all right. I've cleared the way out. Can you walk? There is no way out. What knowledge remains must never leave. Unto evening I shall keep it safe, and into the night hereafter. We must protect the archive. And then it is. Sideways path, good. Whoa. You just stumble in one group of ghosts, and all of a sudden, thousands will come at you. So, another one of those interesting statues, great. Could I get maybe the uh, diary number 30? Because it gets interesting. Nothing here. Also, nothing there, too. That's a lot of blood splatter. Definitely heard someone scream. Where is it? to protect anything because you're dead the same okay further we go Ooh, knowledge there what is this all about containers they don't mean nothing a statue with a litany of orbe monastery from morning, my eyes were opened, and I saw the coming darkness. Huh. Okay. It basically tells us nothing. There's another one. A statue with another one. Uh, through the day, I have prepared to accept this burden of knowledge. Oh, it's a... Um, Day-night cycle here. Morning, day, and then there's afternoon, but what else? On to evening, I shall keep it safe, and into the night hereafter. Ah! Now, you who would seek to know darkness, kneel before the light. Speak the words of the litany and accept our holy burden. Uh, yeah, we need to find all three. I just interacted with those, that's exactly what I mean. Da 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 da. All right. So before the light's actually down here, just saying. From morning, my eyes were opened, and I saw the coming darkness. Through the day, I have prepared to accept the burden of knowledge. Unto evening, I shall keep it safe, and into the night hereafter. Well, open sesame. Whoa. Someone doesn't like all of that knowledge. Why does it get burned? And the abbot with a torch, of course. We need to leave now. No. I deserve to burn. 
with the rest of it. Where is Elias? Gone. He said the ruin of sanctuary was imminent and only I could help. He is going to summon a lesser evil. He took all he needed and then my scholars he murdered them. He... Whoa. It's an interesting tomb lord. Ah, oh, look at that. The whole of human knowledge shall be shared among the children of Lilith. And no secret shall be kept from them. And the liars and learned thieves of the world shall perish in their regret. Interesting. So it is a fundamentally human approach to it, if not a little bit violent. Okay, uh, let's see. I do need more dexterity. There we go. And then I could just go over here. Let's just see. Uh, I do need not earth. After spending so and so much, that's actually a decent one. Um. Yeah, but how am I going to get that? That would be better up, up here or something. Hmm. Maybe I can try another one. Let's see. Nature magic skills. Da 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 da. Shape shifting. Poison. Whatever. Okay. Shape shifting of spirit costs. Re no, that's not it. Nature magic. Let's look at that one. Um, damage to crowd controlled enemies. Yeah. Okay. Resistance to all. Alright. That one is nature magic skill damage again. Damage taken over time. Okay, resistances. The thing is, you cannot get to this one from that side here. You can, well, uh, easily get to this one from that side here. You have to go sideways here and there. You have to forego the glyphs around. And that's the iffy bit. Maximum life. Nature magic damage. Poor. Okay, how many more do I have? Yeah, just two, actually. Hmm. I only got two and maybe the uh, poisonous thing. Yeah, maybe this one. Well, there are three or more poisoned enemies nearby. You can deal more damage. Let's see. Damage to poisoned enemies. Yes. Damage to poisoned enemies again. And also just damage to elites. Oh, it's quite funny. Damage reduction from enemies that are poisoned. Damage to poisoned enemies again and mobile power. But the stats that are necessary are not the ones that I have, so it may take a while. Hmm. Okay, we're definitely not going to get this one. Uh, it's one of the last ones, like uh, nature magic skills. Entangle the enemies, mobilize them, and poison them for zones so much base damage. Mm hmm. That could help. After spending so much spirit, you get increased damage for 5 seconds, which is pretty much all the time. Hmm. That one is easily obtained. It's just that the glyph is up here and all of the other stuff is down here and like, eh. Hmm. Yeah, they're all, they, they all kind of have the same shape, right? You got the special night at one point and then you got the glyph stuff at the other side and then you kind of have to decide what are you going to do hmm and how do you orient it I would almost say that this would be better off um, done with a calculator beforehand because otherwise you're just going to get crazy with the pathfinding or whatnot or just wing it somehow and hope for the best all right we got ourselves some potions unlocked, though, which is perfect. And also, um... Oh. Okay. 
we cannot leave that dungeon. Is there a... The exit is very, 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 very far away. Hmm. Leaving that dungeon doesn't quite work. Only thing we can do is go back to Cat Bodu and give uh, Loroth the good or maybe even bad news. Let's see, is he even here? No, of course not. And we can't even enter this place anymore. Yeah, the entrance is gone. Great. Absolutely great. Hmm. So, let's mark the other one. And we need to go to a, uh, an alchemist because we unlock new stuff. And we can also do some jewel crafting right now, which is amazing. Uh, let's see. Let's hope I have all of the ingredients for this. Yes. Ah. A little bit more instant healing. The percentage is always the same. But let's look at the elixirs that we have unlocked. The crushing elixir was the one that yeah, the last one that we have. And now Strong Elixir of Shadow Resistance. Oh. Resistance is now... Okay. 25%, which is a lot. Another 25 for Poison, for Lightning, for Fire, and uh, Cold. And then, finally, something decent. A Critical Strike Improvement and Critical Damage Improvement for 20%. Pretty neat. Only problem, it does... Uh, actually... Blight Shade... Don't know how often I get this one, but in terms of resources, it doesn't cost that much. Let's look at the iron barb thing. 15, 8, 8. Um, that's 15 and 16. Hmm. And that's like 15 as well. Uh, huh, 15, 9, 9. So that one it costs more. At least the damage goes up. But this one also does damage, and it also makes you survive for longer. And I would almost say that the iron barb elixir is the better one just because of this survivability you gotta be kidding me when did I use five iron barb elixirs Ooh. oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy how did I really just went through them like that Okay, so... What do they need? Crushed Beast Bone and Bite Berry. I mean, Bite Berry I can... Probably... Make. Uh, Kill of Emperor, Blight Berry. Yeah. Blight Shade, Bite Berry. There we go. But it costs a little bit. With a Galloine. 5 to 1. It's always Galloine. Hmm. But at one point, I won't be able to use the potions anymore. So maybe I shouldn't focus on this one too much. 5% experience. Nah. What about this? Uh, fire and shadow resistance. Lightning resistance. And increases maximum life by 500. Okay. That's a good one. And of course, the stat bonuses. And armor bonus. Nice. But it also costs an armor delay. Soon we cook again. Maybe for later, but I need a way to get more resources in here. Like, this is the actual thing that limits you. So, but we do have also other things that we need to worry about. Hmm, because now we can get these precious things. Requires level 50. Uh, yeah, in order to be... Yeah, in order to make it, you need to be level 60, but okay. Requires level 45. I hope it has nothing to do with the item. <laughs> that would be a bit weird. But alright. Uh, what's the difference here? One percentage point on armor and weapon. And uh, three percentage points-ish on the jewelry. What about the emeralds? The most important ones. Uh, they go up. Oh, critical strike damage goes up by also 1%. Thorns goes up almost doubles. That is good. Alright. Okay, so now I just need to unsocket all of those things, and also I need some di- no, not diamonds, but skulls. So, life will kill, 220. That's not that much more armor, look at that. 
125, 170, that's a bonus of um, uh, 45. And then another 45, another 50, okay. All right, let's make all of this. Ah. Time to unsocket some things. Perfect. Alrighty, so this one goes up here. This one goes up here. And there. And there. I should have looked at the thorn damage, though. Yeah, and critical strike damage to vulnerable enemies. That's the only good part. Flawless skull and skull. Yeah, let's go for the flawless ones. We need more armor. There you go. Nice. Nice at 50. <laughs> so what about my thorn damage? 1,500. Yes. The enemies should now fall. Sweet. Maybe I should... Hmm... Turn a few others into higher level ones, just in case. Just so I have them, right? So, let's see. Uh, Amethyst. Let's go for 10. Ugh. Well. Nah, let's just go for, for all of them. Yeah, there we go. And this is the stuff that I had. That's like 15. And uh, some topsies. What about this one? 2% skill, basic skill damage. 1% reduction. And free for the resistance, yes. Okay, what about this one? Critical strike, still same amount, same number, same whatever. Oh boy, look at the cost of this. Ultimate skill damage goes up by 2%. Barrier generation goes up by 0.5%. What is this? They don't want you to get barriers, it seems. Resistance to all goes up by 1%. Great. Look at this. 300... Okay. But once you have a certain amount of... Um, gems, you don't need to worry that much about them anymore. Because you can just... Maybe uh, switch them from one character to the next and so on and so forth. There you go. Ah, uh, still. Decent amount of gold. Perfect. Yes. Coin is pretty, pretty, pretty useful. Okay. And before we do the Whittling Sanity quest, uh, actually, is there anything else that got unlocked other than this? No. No special ability. No, nothing like this. Also, no, nothing. Absolutely bloody nothing. Ah, okay. Um, and all of this stuff gets unlocked later on. Yeah. Great, 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 great. Good. So that means uh, we are going to Loroth uh, in the canyon. And then we can definitely continue with the main mission. Oh, yes. Just a few more meters. Oh. Oh. Was that before? Was that here before? Who knows? Okay. And before we enter that thing, we're going to end this episode. Like and subscribe as usual and... Oak be with you. Ta-ta!